position, the Honourable Linda Tambuya. You have the floor, ma'am. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Honourable Speaker, I'd like to begin my reply by stating that just like everything this government does, uh, there's no adequate consultation with stakeholders. I just heard the Honourable Minister list those that were consulted for the final draft of the bill, which is now going to the Solicitor General's office, and there's been no mention, no mention of consultation with Indigenous landowners. They are not the public, they are stakeholders. We have villages that are part of our <coughs> urban centers and boundaries. And we have informal settlements, Honorable Speaker, informal settlements that are also within town boundaries. So why hasn't she mentioned that specifically that they have been consulted? Now, Honorable Speaker, these villages like Nosori Village and Yaroi in Sausavu, they're also under the ETOK Affairs Act. So as expansions take place, the review must ensure that the indigenous landowners are properly consulted because she did not mention it in her statement. There is a point of order. She didn't mention it. She is misleading the parliament. I had already said Rokotuis from 12 provinces were consulted. What else do you want? Why are you saying that the consultation did not take place? We have done consultation for five long years Through the with each and every stakeholder. Through the and you can have a look at the Hansard report tomorrow. Through Thank the, you. Through the speaker. Make your point of order correction through the speaker, not to each other. You have the floor. Honourable Speaker, it, it really concerns the opposition that the Honourable Minister is confused with what the Rokotuis are and the, land, the indigenous landowners are. Rokotuis are government officials. They're not the indigenous landowners. So she needs to uh, clarify what she stated is incorrect. The Rokotuis are government officials and not the indigenous landowners themselves. So the lack of consultation is concerning, concerning to the opposition, Honorable Speaker. 